Now the Houston Astros ended that lengthy World Series drought, finally winning last year. But are they the class of the American League in 2018? With John Farrell, Mark Teixeira, we handicapped the AL. So we'll go five through one here, Tex. Who's your second wild card team you think of the American League? My second wild card team, I'm going to go down to the Angels. This is kind of a hot pick because of Otani. I don't think Otani is the big deal here. I think a healthy pitching staff and the addition of an Ian Kinsler and maybe Albert Pujols being a little bit healthier this offseason gets him off to a better start and the Angels sneak into that last wild card. Yeah, they're, they've added some big time names. You add Cozart to, to the addition uh, as well, but I think a team that has really started to gain some momentum in the second half of last year, and you see a guy really start to come into his own in Byron Buxton, who was for a number of years the number one prospect in the game. Uh, he's starting to put it together, and you look at the additions of the pitching staff that uh, they have made there, Lance Lynn to help out that rotation, uh, Addison Reed in that bullpen. This is a team that in that relatively weak central can make a lot of noise. My second wild card team is the Red Sox. I think that they're going to switch spots with the Yankees in that AL East, but they're still loaded. This is going to be a really good team. If David Price becomes the guy that everyone thought he was going to be when he came to Boston, I think the Red Sox may even have a chance to win the division. Well, uh, that's going to be, a, I think, a hotly contested division throughout the summer. Uh, I'm with you. Uh, in having the Red Sox as the number two wild card or the number one wild card team, JD Martinez addition there puts Mookie Betts probably in the best spot, and that's the leadoff spot for him. But questions about the second half of that rotation, I think, uh, and potential of injuries. When Dustin Pedroia comes back to be the leader that he can be on the field, uh, those are somewhat questions. But uh, I see them in that same spot. Yeah, one of the best teams in all of baseball, the Cleveland Indians. Heartbreak last year against the Yankees, the division series. But when you have an up the middle in Ramirez and Lindor and you have Corey Kluber as your ace, their bullpen with Andrew Miller, I mean, these guys can beat you so many different ways. I love the Indians in the Central. Well, I, I think everyone's going to see them as potentially a team that runs away with it. But uh, my first uh, or my East Division team is New York. Obviously, the, the big addition uh, with Giancarlo Stanton coming over, adding to that potential Bombers uh, lineup. But to me, the two guys that are kind of getting overlooked in all this is Didi Gregorius and Brandon Drury. Those are two guys that are going to really lengthen out that lineup. Uh, you look at Severino, who was really starting to come into his own. I think they may just edge out the Red Sox for that AL East division. Yep, and let's keep talking about the Yankees. I think the biggest issue with the Yankees right now is their starting pitching. If they can get a solid year from Sonny Gray, be that ace that they brought him over the deadline to be last year, now you have Sonny Gray along with Severino, Tanaka, Sabathia. This team has a great lineup. They have a great bullpen. If you add Sonny Gray to that mix in the starting rotation, they're going to be really good. Well, and I think it's because of pitching that puts Cleveland ahead of them uh, because of what they've been able to do. As you mentioned, Kluber leading that group. Who knows, does he run off a third straight AL uh, Cy Young Award? Uh, but Salazar, uh, Trevor Bauer, who's really taken a big step forward, uh, even though they've, they're going to miss Shaw in that bullpen, uh, with Cody Allen back there closing games out, uh, still Tito will have them in a position to take that division. No doubt. And this is a not a big shocker here. The world champ Houston Astros, they only got better with Garrett Cole. Their young players are only getting better as well. And I want to look at Charlie Morton as a guy that can go out there and be a Cy Young candidate. That's how good his stuff is. And if you put him up there with Verlander and Keuchel, the Astros could repeat. Yeah, I, I, I have to agree with you because a full year of Verlander, the addition of Cole, arguably the best infield in all of baseball when you look at both sides of the ball. Uh, I think Altuve's deal kind of solidifies that franchise. All players looking at him as a leader. Uh, this puts the Astros up as a potential to repeat. Amazing to think the Twins a couple seasons ago, 100 losses, and now you've got them making the playoffs in back-to-back -back years, and you like the Angels to get back in the dance. Who knows if Otani can pitch and hit as much as they hope for, but at the very least, they have short ups in those other positions. This is how Tex and John see it in the American League.